Children need loving relationships with their parents, no matter what's going on in the family. And to help strengthen those bonds is Kids Need Both Incorporated. Based in Lakeland, it's a nonprofit organization. And here today with us is uh, Danica Joan Fields, Executive Director, Netza Rodriguez with Studio Time Media, and T.O. Johnson with uh, Studio Time Media. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having, you for having us. us. <clears throat> well, I know you guys have a lot going on right now. i uh, like to hear a little bit about you know, what your organization does and also about some events you guys have coming up in April. Yes, our, our organization is an organization that, whose mission is to serve um, the community who are in, experiencing high conflict uh, families, relationships with parents and children. Uh, we also serve uh, the community, the professionals who are impacted by the high conflict families, like the mental health professionals, the teachers, the lawyers, uh, the court system. Um, our mission is to try to bring healing for the best interest of the child and of course just as our the name of our organization is that we believe that children need to have a loving relationship with both parents sure that's very important well you guys have uh, some uh, programs coming up uh, big music uh, celebration mm -hmm. um, your inaugural music and awareness festival coming up in April mm -hmm. and uh, that's also uh, in conjunction with the Parental Alienation Month, correct? Correct. Uh, our organization has been in existence since 2004, and for the last about four years, we've been celebrating Bubbles of Love on April 25th, and we get a proclamation from the mayors in the area, um, and now we've had uh, we've gotten proclamations last year we I think we got six throughout Central Florida and we're just we just keep ramping it up and increasing so this year the way that we're going to expand uh, this event is to do a music and awareness festival um, at the end of April around April 25th so the um, We've, we're going to be inviting uh, professionals, experts in the field of families, high conflict families, and, and just uh, people who are dealing with families, maybe family court, uh, the lawyers and uh, mental health counselors and, and uh, people like that, guardian ad litem, who are dealing with that. So we're going to have some workshops that uh, address these very serious issues, but the festival is also something fun. We want parents to come out there with their children and do something meaningful and engaging with their with their children. So we've got play shops, we've got a Home Depot build a birdhouse kind of um, uh, station. We also have things that are uh, like, a, uh, like a plant kind of thing, maybe like aquaponics kind of a demonstration mm -hmm. is what I want to do. And we're also going to do a culinary arts station and a lot of things we're going to uh, have out there for, for the and kids to be able the to do. Children to do with their parents. And yeah. Now, yeah, we want we want them to be able to do something with their chil their parents and be able to walk away and say, wow, I did this with my child, with my parent. And um, uh, we're also going to have some amazing music. Okay. Well, um, I mean, it sounds wonderful what you, you got going on. It's really kind of unique, though. I haven't, you know, I've been around seeing a lot of fundraisers, things like that, especially in this area, and I haven't heard of anything quite like this. Can you tell me a little bit about where the idea for this, you know, came up? One day I was in a meeting with Judge Williams as he was having his staff meeting, and uh, he... I shared with him the different kinds of courses that we offer and services that we offer in regards to supervised visitation and child exchange, parenting, co-parenting, and, and domestic violence classes. And he said that he really liked uh, the things that we offer, but would we be able to make them available to the whole population? And I thought about it and I said, you know, we've got to do that. We definitely need to do some sort of a fundraiser. Uh, get some sort of funding. So of course I knew that this event, this Bubbles of Love event, which I do every year, was coming up. So I thought, you know what, we should do a festival because it would also give us an opportunity to reach out into the community and share with them that we even have these services available. So now you guys are the party guys. Yep. So you guys are going to be handling all the entertainment coming up and this is going to be going on April 23rd through the 25th. 
and that's going to be uh, in Lakeland. Uh, and if you can, just kind of give us a rundown. I know day by day you guys all have stuff going on uh, between the seriousness uh, of the different workshops and you know the, the playtime with the families, but then there's also kind of a cut loose and hang out, listen to some music. If you can't talk a little bit about that. You know, this particular event, we're going to also include a band, you know, which is uh, Ontario Teal's Johnson's band. So let him tell you a little bit about that band. All right. Okay. Uh, it's called PK in the AM, and there's uh, two guitarists, and then myself. Uh, one of them is an ele electric guitar. I play acoustic, and then another guy, he does bass. And uh, at these events, pretty much what we do is we blend EDM with live guitars. Okay. And I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it's actually... <laughs> It's actually pretty amazing. So how do you manage to do that? Um, being creative. Yeah. <laughs> being creative. Well, you'd have to. Being very creative. And uh, pretty much uh, just taking music and blending it, in, blending, blending it in a way that pretty much gets people, I, w I don't want to say out of their comfort zone, but it brings them to another level of fun and, and, and entertainment. You know, we talked about it this being a unique event. It's something, you know, combining both the serious and a, a playful side. How is that with you guys uh, who, you know, I talked to earlier about, you know, you guys get out there, do a lot of DJ stuff for different fun runs and things mm -hmm. like that, uh -huh. which are usually, you know, very hyped, you know, very energetic type stuff that it's all fun. Mm -hmm. How is it different in dealing with this event when you're dealing with such a serious nature? Want to answer that, Jill? Sure. It, it, it seems like a different approach yeah. to me. It's, it's actually not. Really? I mean, the best way to give a kid vegetables is to promise them cake at the end. Okay. Yep. Pretty simple. Yeah. I can handle that. And, you know, what we're trying to really do is connect those families together, you know, so that we want those family members to connect so that we do things where we'll invite a, a father and son up on stage or a mother and daughter up on stage and have them. Uh, you pump up this side of the crowd and you pump up that side of the crowd and the kid will be like, okay, and he doesn't know what to do. He's like, you guys ready? And they, you know, they give him the mic and he's like, you guys on this side, yeah. And the people will go, yeah. And then dad will do his side and, and they'll compete, you know, and who's louder than the other side. And, you know, pretty much our job is to create memories that can't be duplicated. Okay. That's right. All right. And we have fun doing that. <laughs> That sounds like it's it. an excellent time. <laughs> I think in the world of advocacy, there there is a lot of resignation and discouragement and seriousness, and and that's something that I really wanted to 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 bring to the world of advocacy is let's highlight the positive. Let's figure out how it is that we can always we can see things from a positive nature, and that's to to bring the children together, not complain about what's wrong. Okay. All right, we have a number of different events going on. Uh, coming up in April, April 23rd through the 25th, uh, going on first night there's going to be a VIP reception from 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, that Thursday night. Uh, family night is going to be on Friday night from 6 to 9 p.m. And uh, that following Saturday, April 25th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. is the family day. And on Friday and Saturday night <clears throat> from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. is the rave club and that's when you get to see the guys really cut loose with the, the music and the partying and really having a great time. Uh, prices for the event, kids are free. It's a $10 day pass, $15 weekend pass, and a $20 uh, late night club 18 and only pass. And also for the VIP reception, it's $50 per person. Uh, the location is gonna be at 5501 South Florida Avenue in Lakeland. And for more information, you can uh, go to their website at kidsneedbotho.org or you can call them directly at 888-661-3353.